And good afternoon, Warp 3 here bringing you another video. This time here we are in the meal and we finally got something done with this tank. So sit back, relax, and of course, enjoy the show. And thank you for viewing this video. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the icon above, and then of course hitting the bell icon to get notifications when the next video drops. So here we go. All right, as you plainly know, for so that the meal gives me fits, starts, and everything else like that because this gun, to me, is super derpy. So this tank just drives me absolutely crazy. I have a lot of battles inside of it but it's been fighting me every step of the way so i'm bringing another gameplay inside this and everything else that but finally something happened at the end of this which i was not expecting so i was like eh yay so it was like a finally the miracle said oh now i think i actually paid for this miracle um i finally put bounty the rotation things on on us i literally paid for it just before this battle and i'm like um yeah so i think wargaming said you know what since you paid for it since you spent three million credits here, here's the bow so i'm not going to tell you what the bow is until the end and everything else like that but I, you probably can guess now again i'm sitting here like this i'm like okay well our mediums are not going in i'm trying to base some shots and i well, it's pain for you, obviously, that, you know, I still can't hit anything with this. So I'm like, eh, let me shoot this section right here. Hopefully these guys won't come through. And it, since our guys are actually pushing up, let me support. Now, again, if your mediums are pushing up, you definitely want to try to support your mediums. Now, we're winning 0-2 down there and everything. Like that, and I'm like, oh, okay, Pantera's over here, so that's an autoloader. This guy's getting handled and he needs some help. Okay. I know I can go hold down right here, right? That's what should happen. So I can say, hey, hold down. Let's pull right here. And I get bumped and I miss the shot that I can actually get. So I'm like, okay, got him. One, two, and three. Eh. But unfortunately he had a full clip and the scorpion also hit me as well. So basically, I got my butt whooped. Eesh. That's not how that's supposed to go. And again, auto loader versus auto loader, fine, no problem. I wasn't expecting the scorpion to actually be able to pin me since I was literally called down. Now, I, I actually thought that I would be able to bounce some more shots considering that, you know, I was hauled down, but Again, this thing here, haul down, doesn't mean as much unless the haul down position is literally, you gotta be much higher on that plane for you to point, well, not that high, but again, point over it and actually hit. So basically, I got out. So I'm like, okay, let me come over here. Um, can I get through, man? And the brask is sitting there. I'm like, um, brask, hello. Wait until I get aimed all the way in. One, two, low roll. And he dies, crap. Now, notice that I'm going down here, and the other guy is going up there. What do you think is going to happen to that guy that's right there? Well, <laughs> he got effed. I wonder why. Um, well, pretty damn easy because, again, most people will be in that bush that I'm pointing to over there, and basically get a shot off and basically kill you. So that's why I always take the roll roll if I go this way here because it negates somewhat of actually getting your butt whooped. Now again, I'm a one shot for most things. So I gotta creep around the corner and say, hey, sneak a shot in every now and then. You gotta be very careful, of course. So I'm up to 2,200. Nice. Now again, you see that roll where it's 420? Again, a nice roll, roll before that was well, pretty goddamn mediocre on the Barras. So again, it does high roll, that does happen, but usually it doesn't. And I'm like, oh, here we go, one. No, no, it's gonna go on the other side. Hey, yay. 
So, 3K. Okay, I, I like it. Not the most groundbreaking this battle in the world, but it's pretty damn good. Again, even losing half my health if you play it smart after that point, which I should have played smart into that before that, you do it pretty damn well. Well, the post game is about to come up because I'm not going to get any more damage and everything else. And then you'll see what finally, finally I got after I don't know how many battles in this tank. So we'll show you the post game in just a second. What he didn't hit. Finally, after all this time, I finally marked the Emil. Finally. I gotta put this one up, because literally, this has been forever and a day to mark this 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 damn tank. And only a class three. So it's like 3K to g get this thing marked. It, it just took forever to get a mark on this thing. I, I, I never had a tank worth taking in me this long. But okay. So you, you put this on it and Emil, the, the Emil finally says, Hey, I can hit stuff. Hey, Heathens games. Cause again, you know how I was fighting with this gun before that. It's like I was beating my head into the sand. So I'm guessing the 3 million said, you know what? No, let's, let's do this right. You know what? Okay. You spent 3 million. We'll give you the mark deal. That's what it, ended, what it ended up being. Well, this is Warp Into You saying, Warp out, have fun, and we'll catch you on the next one. Please hit the like, subscribe button. It really helps the channel.